Hey there, this is Jag from Modern Work. So I've been actually recently asked by a school teacher uh, to help um, to help him put together a, a workflow inside Office 365 to manage their learning curriculum documents. So essentially uh, what they wanted was to have a, a two-stage uh, process where they wanted to create a document, send it for peer review, and then once it's been peer reviewed, they wanted to see if um, the, the yeah, and, and send it to the uh, the the curriculum manager for approval so that it is and it, and it is tagged for publication. So by publication, I mean that uh, you know uh, it's ready for them to go and put it into their learning management system or uh, put it onto their website for parents and and, and schools. Um, sorry, the students to access the document itself. So uh, let's let's uh, jump in and uh, see how to do that. All right. So here we have a, a, a SharePoint site um, called the greatest school on earth. Of course, we're using Office 365. So it should be the greatest school on earth with fully digital, right? So with, uh, now that everybody is actually on um, working remotely, I think being digital is the way to go. Anyway, so here you can actually see there's a document library with uh, called Kirkham Documents. And here you have year seven, year eight and year nine history uh, curriculum documents. So uh, what I've done, I've all, I have a document status field uh, called document status, of course, <laughs> uh, and it tracks the different stages of the actual uh, workflow itself. Talking about the workflow, before going into how the, the document status field is put together, I just wanted to show you the actual workflow itself. So let's go ahead and, and bring that up here. So uh, here is a visual diagram of the actual um, uh, the flow itself. It's very simple flow. It's, uh, it's, not, it's very not complicated. Uh, it's it's just a really a, a two-step process. So what I'm doing here is, you know, I'm kicking off the workflow. Um, once I've uploaded the document, uh, have like the owner of the document can say, okay, send this for peer review, right? And then it goes in and asks for who whom do I need to send this for peer review? So you can actually select one or multiple people for peer review in there. I'm just doing a quick system check to see if the actual document exists and the document is not, you know, um, uh, you don't need to do that uh, if, if, if you if you don't want uh, but you know I'm just being all cautious and I'm just checking for the document there and then actually setting the the status of the document so to say in peer review so this ties back to that document status field that we talked about before right so now and then I'm actually going to send this approval action uh, for peer review so based on one or two people or more uh, selected in the peer review uh, email addresses I'm going to send that off and uh, the way it's put together is if one of the peer reviewers have actually uh, taken action say they've reviewed the document and uh, and they can actually either go and approve it or not so if it's uh, if it's not approved by the peer uh, if it's failed the peer, re peer review it sends an email notification back to the document owner of course he needs to know right and then uh, it sets the document status to draft so that the actual uh, the document creator can go and make further changes according to the uh, the feedback he got from the peer review if in case uh, if you're if you're uh, successful we've done really good job in stay um, and then it's been peer reviewed it it says it uh, it changes the document status to peer reviewed and then the approval action, it sends an approval action to the curriculum manager. So here in this example that I'm actually gonna show you, the curriculum manager is hard coded, as in like it sends an email back to me, Jag. Um, but in your case, you can just put in any uh, email address uh, and, and so on. We'll actually look at that flow uh, when we open Microsoft uh, Power Automate. So now uh, the power, then it's actually checking is the document approved for by curriculum manager, right? So the curriculum manager can take and review the document and can take an action, approve or do not approve. So in this case, let's assume if it's not approved, again, it just goes back to send an email notification for both this time to both the, uh, the document creator who initiated the actual workflow itself and also to the, the, uh, the, the peer reviewer uh, that was selected at the inst at, at the start of this workflow, right? And then it sets the document back to the draft. Um, and then once it's been up, if it is approved, then it's actually going to set to say approved for publication. Now, once it is approved for publication, the owner can actually take this, give it to their web team or to their LMS team to actually in, uh, put it into into the relevant system there. So that's a quick uh, overview of the flow. Uh, enough of Visio. Uh, let's actually actually see this in action. And once we see this in action, then after that, we'll actually go and 
and actually see a, a uh, take a peek into the actual uh, Power Automate flow itself and see what's the what's what's behind it. All right, so like uh, we're back on this the curriculum documents here. I have year eight history curriculum document. By the way, if you're interested, um, I'll include the um, the actual sample documents that I've actually used here. Uh, for example, here's let me open this up for quickly. Here is actually a, a sample Australian curriculum document that's put together that's recommended by the Australian Curriculum Assessment and Reporting Authority. So if you want, you can actually have a quick look at that uh, as well. So here is for uh, humanities and social sciences, in this case history. So you can actually have a quick peek into see how you know how you can actually structure your document. But I digress. So let's go back. Uh, to the actual uh, document library itself. In this case here I'm going to select year 8 curriculum and then go into my Power Automate. So with Power Automate when you hover on the Power Automate right just be just have some patience. Um, the actual custom workflow that we've assigned on this uh, document library doesn't show up straight away. Uh, you have to just uh, wait for a moment for it to start to show up. Uh, we have request sign off and conduct peer review and request manager approval right so request sign off is actually a a out of the box workflow that comes with in packaged up with your uh, or sharepoint online document library uh, in this case we're not using that instead we have actually created a a custom flow using power automate so here i'm going to click conduct peer review and request manager approval now what's going to what it's going to ask me for uh you know a list of peer reviewers you want to put and then also a message so in this case I'm going to send this to say hey can you please peer review this year 8 history curriculum document something like that and now I'm going <clears> to <throat> put in uh, Megan as our peer reviewer, you can also put multiple people in here, right? So I'm going to put multiple uh, adult as well. I'm going to hit run flow. And now what happens? Uh, if I go in and open up uh, Megan's inbox, <coughs> you should see a an email come through. There you go. Uh, I've got this email saying that uh you know peer review year eight history curriculum australian so this is the name of the document so now here i can actually take three three different actions one approve the document straight away just assume that i've actually opened this in a new tab here i have a look at the document you know put my track you know put my edits in there uh for for demo purposes i'm actually using a a word document uh, sorry a, a pdf document but in your case it, it can be a word document right and then you can actually do reviews on top of it you get the idea so here uh, coming back to this approval action i can do three approvals as a peer reviewer approve approve with edits or reject it okay um in this case i should have done as reject but anyway in this case i'm going to just um say approve and it's going to check this document for year eight is spot on because I've done a really good job on it uh, my um, Megan is quite happy with the document so she's given me thumbs up go go ready for submission so you go ahead and submit so now what happens let's actually uh, go back in here and see how it's actually changed the document status say in peer review right and now it's i've got an email back saying that uh, megan has peer reviewed it if i go ahead and refresh this screen here you should say you should see that year at history has changed the status to peer reviewed and now because in the system i've hard coded my uh, email id as the curriculum manager I get an approval notification saying that okay curriculum manager approval for year eight history so the same document it sends to it sends an email notification an approval notification to um, to myself uh, for approval so it says that here is some details around it I can actually click and have a look at the document too here in this case again again Jag has done a fantastic job like always um, I'm gonna go ahead and approve the document nice work ready for publication please send this to the web team 
for so so that the web team of the school can actually put it onto their um, onto their uh, content management system the public facing website or they can even put it into their learning management system as well so in this case go ahead and click submit and now if i come back in here see how it says peer reviewed i can actually go ahead and refresh this and it says approved for publication so that's a quick an easy way of uh, creating a two-stage uh, workflow in your Office 365 to actually keep track of the changes that are happening in your curriculum documents and get it get them peer-reviewed and also get them approved for publication by your curriculum manager. There you have it. Uh, the person that you was asked me, this is the requirements, but this 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 is just a sample, right? You could actually use this as the as a template now, and you can actually go ahead and make some changes uh, to suit with your own custom requirements. Okay, and if you have custom requirements, uh, and if you want us to help you create this flow, please re do reach out to me at modernwork.cloud. But let's actually go and uh, take a peek into the actual. Um, back end of the flow itself and see how this flow is put together. So here is the actual, uh, I'm back in my Power Automate app. I've, here is the um, the application, uh, sorry, the flow. And now you can actually go, you can actually see the flow has, has run just a moment ago um, and it's it's been succeeded. So if I just go ahead and click edit, you can actually see the, uh, uh, the back end of this. So here, what I'm doing for a selected workflow because I've selected that. And, and in the selective workflow, I'm actually asking for a message for the peer reviewer. You've seen me do that and also asked me to put in a, a, a peer reviewer email address, right? So you can actually make sure that you have this email address as, as make, this, make this field required so that you have an email address to send the flow to. Next up, you're getting some file properties. So this is an important step some people actually miss is to, you need to tell the Power Automate, the flow to know, you know, some of the properties that you are going to use inside the actual, uh, inside the uh, inside the workflow actions down, uh, down below. So I'm just doing a quick check to see if the actual document exists. Um, and now I'm going to go into, because now if the document exists, I'm actually putting, changing the status of the uh, document status to say in peer review. Um, I'm actually using uh, this this action is nothing but update item action right so you can just use update item action um, update action item people think that it's only available for SharePoint lists and not for document libraries that's wrong you can actually use it on document libraries as well for document libraries you have to paste the the name of that uh, name of the document library though here it says list name you can just put a document library name as well now uh, I'm putting this, the next is I'm actually using start and wait for peer review. In this case, I'm actually, as an approval type, I'm using custom responses because I'm actually using approve, approve with edits and reject. I actually remember, I totally should have been reject. Anyway, uh, so now uh, I'm actually, it's fairly straightforward. I'm assigning this to the peer review. So peer reviewer, this is where, here is the, uh, not there. If I just go back in here for selected file I've got this peer reviewer information right so I'm actually using that and, and, and putting them in there and uh, pretty much now you know I'm gonna do a, a quick loop condition to see if it if the outcome of that approval is either approve or approve with edits I'm gonna send a set the status with saying as it's been peer reviewed and uh, I'm also going to send an email notification, uh, email notification back to the person who's create, who's initiated the flow. If it's up, uh, if it's rejected, again you have the similar sort of action in there as well. So now let's take a quick. Once it's been approved, though, here is the, um, here is the. Um, now again, I'm going to go and query the file properties to see to get the file properties because remember the status of the field has changed. So it is important for you to go and get the file properties again. Um, and, and now I'm going to put this through the, the manager approval flow. So here I'm actually setting the manager approval and I've actually assigned this to JAG myself, like hard coded in there. Again, in your case, you can just put it a curriculum um, manager, right? Or you can even send this to a group as well. If you do that, again, just make sure that you select the appropriate uh, approval type. Fairly straightforward. I'm uh, putting some details and linking back to this. So I'm just making sure that the, when, when the manager gets the approval notification as an email, they have the relevant information in that email uh, to actually go and, and, and click on the document and visit on all of that. So now, uh, 
based on this approval manager can take two actions approve or reject so i'm just checking for the approve and uh, if it has been approved similarly doing the same thing update item setting the approval status to approved for publication and in this case if it is not approved i'm going to change it back to the draft because uh, remember we yeah, we have this loop back saying that if something is not approved or rejected either in the peer review or in the manager approval reviews we are, we are we're sending a notification and and um, change putting the document status to draft so that the actual document creator can work on it again so that's a quick uh, look at the actual flow itself um, so hope hope uh, you can actually take take this and actually create uh, a, a similar flow inside your school and make your school the greatest school on earth um, by actually have digitizing and, and building some you know automated business processes around it i know it's in this quick tutorial i know it is very hard for you to actually go and follow through so what i've done uh, go and replicate exactly what i've done so what i've done is i've actually packaged all of the materials that are used in this flow and then put together in a in a in a tutorial for you at call office 365 document tutorial management tutorials for schools and i'm making this available for free uh, for lifetime uh, as i'm actually going to go and publish more tutorials into this so if if you if you wanted to access the flow package or if you wanted to access the visio diagram and any other materials to go with the tutorial that you're seeing today uh, just go ahead and uh, sign up here so if you just go ahead and view the course here on the modern work on demand platform you'll actually see you can actually apply the free copen if it's um, if it's not uh, showing you as free and then here you can actually see access all the um, materials including the actual uh, the flow itself so you can pretty much download this flow uh, package and import that flow package into your office 365 uh, or power automate you have to make few changes it'll guide you through on what changes that you need to make because you need to select the your document uh, uh, your site and the document library of course and also you have to create this document status field right um, so with the document status field I'm just gonna go back in here and quickly show you what it is so if I just go here and open this so document status field is nothing but a simple choice choice um, field and here all i have is draft in in peer review peer reviewed approved for publication and archived so look uh, it, it's up to you on how what different statuses you have you can actually use in your particular uh, case right so you can, according to that just create a status field and use that use that in your in your flow so uh, again the flow will be available for you at ondemand.modernwork.cloud along with this tutorial as well. Thanks for watching. This is Jag Kakarlapudi from Modern Work based in Melbourne, Australia. Thank you. Thanks for watching.